in our previous session we have seen how to edit the products and how to delete the products now from this session we are going to see how to see categories how to see brands how to edit categories how to delete categories how to edit brands and how to delete brands okay now we are going to work on that first we are going to see how to view categories okay this is the demo project when i click on this view categories this variable will be active and whatever data we are having inside categories table that is been displayed and this edit is been displayed and this delete icon is been displayed now when i click on this edit i can just edit this one you can see juices is already there and when i just write here juices one update category category updated okay again i'll just come to view category now you can see juices one okay this will be updated in all the places wherever i am having juices now it will be juices one inside the database also i'll be having juices one okay we can delete the category as well and in the same way we are having view brands i can display all the brands i can edit the brands and i can delete the brands first we are going to see how to display this table okay now whenever i click on this view categories you can see this variable is active now here first i'll just come to index.php okay this is my project now inside this we are having this view categories okay now whenever i click on this that variable should be active so here i'll be writing index.php i'll just write here question mark i'll be writing here view categories categories okay whenever i click on this that should be active i'll save this i'll come to my project i'll refresh this one now when i click on this view categories you can see view categories is active now now what i am going to do i'll just copy this variable and below this okay let me just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste that one i'll just come on top whenever this variable is active that is view categories i'll just write that one when this is active then i just have to display this view categories page now i'm just going to create this page inside admin area i'll be creating that page view categories.php now inside this page i'll just write here hi i'll be writing here hi i'll just close this h1 i'll save this let me just write h1 i'll save okay now this is active as soon as i refresh you can see hi okay the data is been displayed now if i just remove this one okay that is not active so i will not be having any data now as soon as i click on view categories this is active and the data is been displayed okay now in place of this i just have to display the entire table okay first i'll just write here h3 heading and for this i'm just going to give the class as text center okay bootstrap class then i'll be giving text to success okay whatever stylings you want you can give i'm just giving the basic stylings and here i'll be writing here all categories i'll save this i'll save now i'll just refresh this one you can see all categories is been displayed now below this i just have to display the table below this heading i'll be creating table for this table i'll be giving the bootstrap class table and i'm just going to give table bordered okay these are the bootstrap classes so if you are not aware of this then you don't have to worry you can learn bootstrap within 2 to 3 hours okay basic of bootstrap then for this i'm just going to give margin top of 5 now inside this table first i'll just write a table head okay for this table head i'm just going to give the uh, color as bg info inside this table head i'll just create table row then i'll be giving table headings table headings first is my serial number okay then uh, let me just come down and second i'll just write here th into 3 then next will be my category title then next i am having edit then finally i am having delete i'll save now i'll just refresh this one you can see the table is being displayed serial number category title edit and delete okay the same way here i am having table now below this below this table head i just have to display the table body i'll just write a table body for this table body i am just going to write here bg secondary okay whatever classes you want you can give I'm just going to give BG secondary and also I'm just going to give the color as text light. Okay, when my background is gray or black, the text will not be visible. So I'm just going to give text light. Now inside this, I'm just going to create table row. 
I will be closing this table row here. Then for this I just have to display the data. So for this table headings, here I am just going to write table data into 4. First one I will write 1. Category title let me just write here juices. Edit I will be writing here edit and delete I will be writing here delete. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see the data is being displayed. Now in place of this I just want to display the data from the database. Okay, before that for this editing and deleting let me just come to view products. I will just copy this entire TD. Okay, this both the TDs I am just going to copy and inside this I am just going to paste. Okay, now from here let me just remove this href. I do not need this one and also from here I will be removing this href. Okay, later on based on my condition I am just going to add. Okay, only to get this uh, you know only to get this icons I have just displayed this one. Now I will save this. Now if I refresh this you can see the edit option and this delete option. Okay, if you want if you want the data to come in the middle then for this tr you can give the class as text center. Text center. I will save this. Now if I just refresh this one you can see the data has come in the middle. For table headings also if you want you can give. Okay, let me just give for table headings as well. I will just copy and for this I am just going to paste. I will save. I will refresh this one. Now all the table headings are also in the middle. Now in place of this I just want to display the dynamic data. Okay, Now this is the static data. I just have to display the dynamic data. Now what I am going to do? Below this table body I am just going to write the PHP code. I will just write here PHP and here I am just going to close PHP. Now inside this PHP I am just going to write the query. I just have to select all the data from the categories table. So here I will be writing select cat okay that is category is equal to select star from okay I have to select all the data from categories table. So here I do not have to write where condition I will just write here select star from categories okay this is going to fetch all the data from the categories table whatever data I am having inside the table that will be fetched. Once I write this query I have to execute this one I will be writing here result result is equal to my SQL i my SQL i query and it is going to take two parameters connection variable and our query variable select cat. Okay, now once it is done I have to fetch all the data from the database so here I will be wrapping inside while loop okay this we have seen plenty and plenty of times the same pattern we are just going to repeat again and again. Here I will be writing my SQLI fetch asoc and inside this I am just going to pass this result variable. Then after this one I have to fetch the category id and I have to fetch the category title from the categories table. Okay, Inside this we have created this categories table and inside this categories table we are having only two columns that is category id and category title that both the columns I just have to fetch you can see category id and category title I will just write here category category id I have to fetch that one from the database. So here I will be writing this variable okay row and inside this I am just passing this category category id okay whatever I am passing inside this square brackets that should be exactly matching with the table column name okay this table column name it should be exactly matching again here I will be writing category title I will copy and here I am just going to paste now once it is done okay I have to display the serial number as well. So before this while loop I will just create one variable number I will assign the value as 0 and here inside this I am just going to increment the value by 1 number plus plus. So I will be having the data in 1, 2, 3, 4 format okay this while loop I will just cut from here and here I am just closing this PHP okay now below this TR below this tr I am just going to close this while loop. I will be writing here php. I will close while loop again I will be writing this php. I will just write here php. Okay, This is how I have just closed this while loop. Okay, This entire thing will be wrapped inside while loop now. Now in place of this one I just have to display this. Okay, This category id I have to display. Okay, Sorry I have to display this number. So here I will be writing php. Okay, The same thing I have written when we fetch the products. And here I will be writing echo and here I will just write here number. Number I will be closing this PHP. Then we are having this one I will just write here PHP echo I just have to write here category title. I will copy and here I am just going to paste. 
okay rest everything is same okay later on we'll be adding href here as of now i don't have to add here now i'll come to my project i'll refresh this one you can see all the data whatever we are having inside the database that is being displayed okay the dynamic data okay all the data is being displayed okay this is how we are going to fetch the categories okay okay these are the simple patterns okay again and again we are just repeating the same pattern so you don't have to worry if you have done previously then you can just copy from there and you can paste here okay in the same way i'm just going to do for view brands i'll just copy this one here i'll be pasting that one instead of this view categories i'll be writing here view brands and here i'm just going to create one very uh, file that is view brands okay if you have understood categories then you can just skip this view brands and you can do by yourself okay for this view brands okay let me just give that one i'll copy this one and here i'll be pasting that and here i'll be writing here view brand view brands i'll just come down here i'm having view brands view brands.php i'll copy this file name now i'm just going to create this file i'll just create this file view brands now inside this view brands let me just write here hello i'll save this i'll refresh this one now i'll just click on view brands here i am having hello okay it is working completely fine i'll just remove this one i'll come to view categories i'll copy this entire thing and inside this i'm just going to paste now when i just refresh this one all the categories data will be displayed now in place of categories i just have to display brands i'll be writing here all brands then here i'll be writing brand title then i just have to select the data from the brands table brands then rest everything is same here i'll be writing brand brand title and brand id copy paste copy paste then again i'll copy this brand id okay not brand title i'll just copy and here i'll be pasting that one i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one you can see all the brands is been displayed okay whatever data we are having inside the database that is been displayed we have just written the same code for view categories and view brands okay only thing is we have changed categories to brands okay next we are going to see how to edit categories how to edit brands then finally we are going to see how to delete categories and how to delete brands okay this is very very simple if you understand this kind of patterns you can use in multiple projects okay now we are done with this session next we are going to work on editing and deleting categories and brands